Noxcrew! What is the Noxpod? <laughs> I like how uh, it, it's not the best Noxpod. I duck all random things. Uh... Are you going to edit the Noxpod, Nox? No, I'm not editing the Nox. You get to see our crazy faces. Yeah, it was great. Really fun doing it. I've already watched it back. Well, it could no. be a bit better. No. No. What, 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 no. this intro? I don't understand. So, uh, hello everyone. Noxpod episode 5. Uh, today we've got some very special guests. I don't actually know where you are in relation to me. Um, I think Chad's below me. Uh, so no, we got no. we got always. Chad. <laughs> we got Chad just down be- just down below me. Special guest. <laughs> oh, my camera's so bad. Uh, so I've just seen it on Twitch. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> so we have Phil in the steam room. Down yeah, it's the it's it's getting hot in here. Down down <laughs> there. And then we have we have Knox just over the other side of the logo to me. So these these are your lovely people who are going to be speaking to you for the next hour. Woo! Uh, <laughs> woo! Woo! Yeah, so dry. Yeah, it's it's terrible. How how do you start a podcast, Chad? How do you start a podcast? Uh, you go. Hello, welcome to the Knox Podcast, the show where everything's made up, and I'm not gonna plagiarize that line. And then you take a swig <laughs> of your whiskey. Yeah, and then you go. <laughs> woo! What whiskey? What? Hmm? <laughs> so everyone's probably wondering why have we got only three of the commentators? Uh. Well, yeah, Lewis, 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 could, Lewis couldn't make it today, so uh, we got we got three or four commentators. But oh, how so was it? Am I the sub? You're am the I sub. Lewis's yeah. sub? Yeah. yeah, you're the uh, you're the what, what do they call a potato before it's sprouted into a potato? <laughs> I don't know. A pre spud. I don't As, know. Um, a pre spud. The seed. The pre spud. Potato seed, yeah. seed sproutling. Uh, you <laughs> are a, a like baby. A name for it. You are a, a, so. a new baby potato. You're a baby like potato. A sapling, you know the small it? ones that you boil. Yeah, like you're a baby boil, potato. Like a, new, a new potato, yeah. Baby yeah, potato. you're a new potato. All right, yeah. thank you. Potato. 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 A spud. Ah, oh, someone uh, said a spud. A spud. Yeah, that's spud. that makes sense. You're a spudding new potato. Is it actually oh, yeah. a spud? I thought that was a joke. I don't know. No, we just spuds. I don't know. What, like, we, we've digressed enough. Uh, so how are you sure? Being... We've digressed from the <laughs> intro. Someone's putting a potato <laughs> wedge in this conversation. <laughs> no, I no, screwed, I up, screwed everything. up everything. So, there we go, so how, we're back. How is being a, uh, a commentator on the NGS Live? It was fantastic. It was fantastic. You know, it's you know, funny because, because I remember, I remember watching, watching uh, uh, you know, the Knox crew, crew do, do wait, I think it was, I think like, it was like season, season two, two was the was one really that I was really into. into? Pilot season. We didn't really call them oh, seasons oh before. I just we... realized I wasn't muted. Uh, sorry about that. And um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, by the way, I'm super glad that we're using Teamspeak because I ha- there's a, I have this bug in my system that I haven't been able to figure out where Skype will just crash. <laughs> oh dear. And so and so like if we weren't using like the back end like to <laughs> pull the curtain back like oh my gosh this would be Don't I'd, I'd be in panic the... mode. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell them everything. About the, the, don't tell what background? The, 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 the plans to take over the world. Um. So anyway, so I remember watching, you know, the knock screen going like, "Oh my gosh, this is so professional. This is like everything I want to do in like a Minecraft show. Like this is so cool." And then it was, I was really happy to be a commentator and, you know, be at the Fatal. Decision Dome and. Totally not uh, rig the, the game. The fishing rod and rig dodge <laughs> bolt in. Hashtag rig bolt. <laughs> yeah, well, no, so the, it was a ton of fun. Because the original plan wasn't to have uh, a guest commentator. It was that you were going to be playing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it kind of turned out we had seven people. So it was like, oh, we could have a commentator. Um, and what, would you reckon like playing it or commentating is better? Because you get the best view of the games. Uh, you know, yeah, and the pressure's off. I mean, other yeah. than saying stuff in funny, which I I hope I do okay. Otherwise, <laughs> my whole job is career as a podcaster um, and uh, and YouTuber would be re- suspect. But um, I don't know. Like it's. I, I think originally I wanted to play in the games, and then one I you know I I was like, oh, I don't I don't want to like cause waves. But it was like I must be in a game. But then when I became a commentator, I think in the end I enjoyed it more than I would have been in the game. 
because because of everything you said like you get the best view all the dramas there either side could win i mean it's just like there's no no pressure and it and it was everything i wanted it to be uh in terms of like joining uh the, the you know knox game show well you, yeah. let, you let me have a great time like you took over the questions and yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, I was just Sitting back and just making yeah. sure everything was just, you know, running. So, yeah. yeah. You, you the first time you yeah. were like, okay, go interview. I was like, I know how this works. One second. <laughs> you completely <laughs> removed any illusion at all that Knox does any work by taking away his little bit. <laughs> just that small piece that he does. It's all pre production. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Right, yeah, because no, we is. recorded it, remember? I mean, what? Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Record what? I didn't, I didn't edit. I mean, I... <laughs> anything. Anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was It was nice. And, and um, for you, Phil, because that's the first time you've really... I mean, you've done it on stage shows and everything, but that's the first time you've done a live commentary of, of game show. Yeah, yeah other than that. Kind of way. Other than that test that we did, but yeah, that oh, was yeah. just the, the the test part. But yeah, I thought it was awesome. It was great, and um, admittedly, I did get very sidetracked by just being like, hey, "I'm live. No one could stop me now. Got to summon a chicken and give it a name. Ramirez is the chicken. Perfect. This is great. What? There's a game happening? Nah. Um, no. Yeah. No. Uh, anyway, more about this chicken. Yeah. More the about the chicken. I really loved about the live version. It was there was no there wasn't as much pressure on kind of sticking to a, a plan there was a lot you you know you could be a little free you mean like, that thing you enforce whenever we record <laughs> me, it's great we, we'll be recording right and me and me and lewis will go off on a tangent and add our own thing in right and if it doesn't fit specifically with what nox said nox is like no yeah that was, that was hilarious now do what i did do what i wrote <laughs> you fix that now <laughs> you fix that now <laughs> so when's the next one when when's the next one well yeah uh, Mike. I love that you're being asked, isn't it, the I know, isn't crew? It great? Now that it's <laughs> yeah. Mike deciding when they yeah. are. I well, love it. I, I'm trying to organize one for uh, mid-early September. Because, um, I mean, with Insomnia, we'll be doing stuff there. And, like, with, with Avon, who is the kind of limiting factor in a way, because we have to find the time off work for him, and then we have to find the time off work for everyone else. Um, I thought it would be a bit unfair on him to have, like, Insomnia and a stream the next weekend. So we, we're going to try and do it at some time mid-September. Then we're going to try and do them every two to three weeks for a little while. And hopefully we can get kind of regular schedule going. Because like right right now it's like, wow, you don't game show. When When's the next one? <laughs> but what have you done for me lately? Yeah, I will definitely get uh, Chad on to compete in the future. Cause yeah, that'd you gotta, be cool. you got to see what it's like out, just out on his own. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. by himself. Yeah. 1v9. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was yeah. it? I went to... um. Went to Greyhound Racing the other day. No, the, the reason this this solo, this Chad playing the solo, buses, just, they race buses. That's me. crazy. No, oh, oh right. <laughs> hey. Um, and there was this little leaflet showing like all the previous Greyhounds that have races uh, uh, have raced and how many they've won and what place they came in and stuff like that. And there was one Greyhound that had raced in this track, um, and it said it was solo. And it didn't say what place it came or anything. It literally like it's it's you know a solo racing greyhound. And it's <laughs> just like, turned, you know, rocked up on the day. That's the thing. <laughs> so it happens, rock... Chad. It's fine. There yeah. we go. Rocked That'll up on the great. day. Signed itself up and everything. Yeah. And then yeah. out to the to the right. Took off its monocle and top hat and just and got it, ready to run. And it was statted. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm like trying to wonder like how it would act like you know you have some of the games where you have to have like someone on each presser pressure pad your pressure plate and it's just like do i like come prepared with like uh armor stands and so i have to do one and then drop an armor stand and like put a head on it and it's like okay here's yeah. here's me again okay what go over the other one armor yeah. stand like just have some fake i'm actually legitimately like considering like what is the strategy for like me just being on my own team. <laughs> no. Well, I am the only audience member in any of the Noxu Game Show mini games. If you looked at the uh, yeah the audience, so no, the, that's the repeating funny. That person. Was, yes, yes, that's true. That that's true. Like you know, it's true. You should put that in the credits, audience sort of, member. 
I didn't smell birds. It's the producer raising the morale of the team. Like, look, exactly. you have an audience. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me. Yeah. And, and you don't even have to get nervous because it's, yeah. it's just like it's me in the audience. Well, it is me in the audience, actually. There's no one else. <laughs> but we, we were talking about various conventions. So you, you've got PAX Prime, Chad. So right, PAX Prime. This weekend. Right. What's right. Yeah. PAX Prime? Pa do you know do you know PAX? No. Well, I've no, I've heard of it, but what does it stand right. for? Right. Uh, Penny Arcade Expo. So Penny Arcade, okay. the the guys, you know, did oh the comics. Yeah, yeah, they started a a gaming convention, and Prime was the first location that they they did, and they um have since there's now like. Four or five, if you count Dev, which is basically pa PAX Prime, but it happens right before PAX Prime. Um, so there's like uh, PAX East, PAX South, PAX Prime, PAX Australia, and PAX Dev, which is basically PAX Prime. But uh, it'll be in Seattle, Washington. It'll show off all sorts of uh, different games, and it's it's one of it's one of the better um, video game conventions for fans not just like there's e3 but that's all industry and there's mostly e3 that's the only other one i could think of right now but yeah i love how, I love how chad is just talking and there's the three of us being like mm -hmm, yeah huh? yeah mm -hmm. yeah i've never been i was actually saying the other day i i don't go on holidays anymore because i really I, I can't afford to go on a holiday and go to conventions so i essentially just say three to four conventions a year so it's mostly insomnia and Minecon this year, and that's like my holiday. And I, I thought, if I go on a holiday, it's gonna have to be to an American convention, and then have like a little American holiday. And PAX was the one I was looking at, just because there's loads. Yeah. Of, there's so many of them that you can time it to what you what you need. You right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm actually going this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> really? Ooh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I just decided I, right now, actually. Yeah, yeah, Look behind you. Yeah. <laughs> Rather expensive. So wait, your, your PAX is this weekend, then, this upcoming one? The, wait, the, what, PAX which? Prime is this PAX weekend. Prime. Is it PAX Prime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. PAX Prime is, well, see, luckily, I, I get to, I, because of um, Mind Crack, we go to basically every PAX. And so it's really cool because basically three times a year, we all get to, like, hang out together. So uh, my favorite out of them would probably be PAX East. Because yeah. the convention center is better. Like PAX Prime, it feels like it's grown like w too much. Like it barely fits in the convention center that they have. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of difficult to, to walk around. PAX South has the best convention center and kind of the best stuff. But like no one shows up to it. It's like the newest one. So it's not really established as like a big one. And so... Uh, East is my favorite. I also love, I love the East Coast. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's funny because it's, it's, like, <laughs> in so, yeah, the way it's you exactly just explain same. that, like, oh yeah, it's three times a year. Minecraft get to go yeah. on and, and and you know hang out and and it's getting bigger, too, too big for the convention. This is exactly Insomnia Gaming Fest. Exactly, right? really like, for us three times a year. Three times a year. You know, is it in the same though. spot though? Yeah, uh, it yeah, is, it is. It changed. Dude, that blows my mind. Previously, uh, it was like in Telford, and mm -hmm. then it changed to Coventry. Um, but it's like uh, consistent every time in the same. That place. blows my mind that they can have three conventions a year, in just the at place. the same location. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. let's have it again. Well, it's I mean, like... it's, it, they've up to fifty-five now, so they've had fifty-five yeah. conventions. Yeah. You'd um, think, I would think, that they'd be like, okay, we have one over here, we have one over here, we have one over here. And that's yeah. the three times a year. I'm just surprised they don't like, like, the locals around there, like, still want to go. Because well, that's a big <clears throat> factor for conventions is how close, like, people, I've noticed that people, like, if in America, if you're in the middle of the country, you don't want to travel east or west coast. Well, so, this is America. We're talking. If you compare yeah, yeah. America and the smaller. UK, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Coventry is yeah. fine to get to. Everyone from the entire country it's can right, get okay. there. No it's problem. Much right like, in the middle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm flying America, over. America, I'm sure that'll be very great. Different. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is like, like it blows. Like the UK, like all of Europe, you could basically get anywhere in Europe in the amount of time it takes me to drive to Texas. 
and I'm mm. like halfway to, through the, the country, like, uh, you know, the America, you know, it's just crazy to me that is. you, the Europe seems so compact to uh, us Americans. Us Americans. Americans. Us Americans. Oh, Americans. You know. Yeah. What you're saying about traveling quite far, we've actually got a guy traveling over from Australia for this mm -hmm. insomnia. And wow. he's been wanting to go to an insomnia for ages. And he's like, this is the one he's coming to. Uh, be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, the Australian flight is like, what, 11 hours? It's like, <laughs> it's like, like that. 20 something. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's it can get close to twenty hours depending on where you are. I ah, don't worry. He's, he's got his DS. You think that UK <laughs> yeah, would have colonized like... something a little closer? Jeez. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> did. He just doesn't live in any of those places. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I think my my flight is like forty five minutes. It's going to be great, yeah. and then I'm going to land, and I have to get a a train that I'm not not, not going to understand getting, and then I have to get in a bus what? or a taxi that I'm not going to understand getting. What, are and then I, in Ireland, or is it the accent? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I just don't know the names of any of the stops, really, and not familiar with it. And then oh, right. your buses actually are different. Over here, you have to pay with exact change, and if you ask the driver to tell you when you want to get off, they will. But when we were over there last time, we, we asked the driver, and she was like, uh, no, 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 it's, it's not my job to keep track of it. I have to drive. And then it was only another passenger told me and Lewis where to get off. So we were like, oh, cool. That's Use Google Maps. Don't no, no, no. Yeah. See, then I'd have to be roaming with my phone, which is super uh, expensive. And at so the minute, we... I don't even have a phone. Oh. Uh, so that yeah, would be we, fun. We bought, we bought for like 20 pounds the SIM card when we got there for on like, e, e, was it e, 3E or something? Yes, yeah, 3. E, 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 or... Oh, e. no, three, three. We, we've got e. one called ee e. and one called three so and, okay no okay yeah the i've e. heard ee e. e. are awful what, what color was it <laughs> the, the, the sim card yeah what color oh well let me remember, remember what color remember. that speck of plastic I was i have no clue Turquoise. but it was it, you know it was 20 pounds for for um awesome data like the data was um, super cool compared to america Wait, what how does it be I'm not kidding cool. you. Like, here's the thing: is that in the UK, data is terrible in America. Uh, so yeah, really I heard. Fast, I heard right? that one of the reasons it's it's so much better for like compared to America is UK divvied out Spectrum to like three companies to have the fourth generation to have 4G um, or LTE or whatever it is. But in America, we divvied it out to like five companies. So there's like Verizon, yeah. AT and T, Sprint. Uh, T-Mobile, and I think there's another one. There's four that I can think of. Um, and so the amount that they can push through the through the spectrum is less because it's divvied up so much more. So like even the worst company to me, which was or, or to UK, is EE is like way better, way better than um, what I had in America. It, Cause like I would be in the convention and I'd have great data and that never happens. Like if there's a convention going on in America, you, you don't have data. Like you Holy just don't, crap. there's too many people hitting the same towers. You really take that for granted. Oh yeah, yeah. no dude, it's, it's like, crazy. I no sure. Idea. Like I, I was working in a, in a phone shop until quite recently and we'd have like tons of American tourists in. Who were like, um, yeah, can I get a, Ooh. can I get a, a data plan or whatever, or can I, can I sign up? And I was like, yeah, but what's the most important thing to you? And a lot of them were like, oh well, I'd like data, but I understand that that's probably fairly unrealistic. And I was like, no, mate, twenty quid, unlimited data, unlimited text, and free calls to any network. And they were like, are, are you serious? Yeah. What? <laughs> Freaking out? And then I, I turned around and be like, um, where are you staying? And they were like, oh, you know, just in Dublin city centre. I was like, oh, you don't even need data. There's Wi-Fi everywhere. And they were like, what do you mean? Yeah. It's like there's free Wi-Fi everywhere. City, city wi free Wi-Fi? Wi wi yeah. What? Yeah. It was literally just from everyone. Yeah. There's only like a few cities in America that have city-wide Wi-Fi. Like I'm thinking Corpus Christi is in Texas. They have it. It's hard to think of another one. God. It's really it's difficult pretty, to think of another city. It's so it's, weird because we look at America and we think, oh, America's so far more advanced. <laughs> and then no. America's there, sat there, looking at us thinking, Bloody hell, man! The UK are so far ahead. That's yeah. not even. A, I don't know why. Yeah, why? Why are there. the Americans uh, English? <laughs> Bloody yeah, hell, instinct. mate! Bloody what? hell! Fucking hell! Oh my god! Jolly good show, Elfin. <laughs> I've never Jeez. been. 
<laughs> That's funny. Well, it's, it's, it's what you're saying about the Wi-Fi as well. It's, uh, with universities now, they all have this Wi-Fi called EduRoam. And basically every university has the same Wi-Fi, which you can log into with your own oh, that's university amazing. information. <laughs> I went to to a different university. Look for at John a, a sat there like, what? <laughs> I went for a sports tour at a different university. Literally sitting in their sports tour and I've got the university Wi-Fi. It's like, it's all universities have the same Wi-Fi thing that I've been to. That's crazy. Grinning like mad. Dude, that's we, insane. We have... <laughs> Sorry, my Skype also just crashed. So. <laughs> oh, I just G thought G that you were frozen with G G delight. Oh, I thought. One yeah. Second. <laughs> and uh, I thought you were just really happy for a long time. It'll reconnect time. here in just a half a second. <laughs> Quick, everyone do the same pose as him until he gets back. <laughs> just that awkward stare. There. Up, up, up to up the. Uh, to the, uh, up to the side. side. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm back. Which I'm means back, which means that all your videos are getting screwed up. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Quickly, before I mute my mic, I better be very loud. <laughs> Paint it red, as they say. Um, You're over here as well. We've got uh, an internet provider called UPC, and you get like a, a box with them for your internet, right? And then it's got a a free Wi-Fi that it'll it'll just do it. You don't need to put a password into, but you only need to put a password into it once, sorry, and it's your account password. And yeah. then I can go to anyone's house that has UPC and sign in using my own details. Yeah, so Comcast is trying to do that. We're basic, but like to to a lot of people, that's a big privacy concern. And also, we ha in America have done in America have done a lot on like data caps, and so like you can only use three hundred gigabytes a month. And lots what? of people are are up in arms that it's like, well, you know, why do I have a data cap? But then you can just do this for your own customers, and there's a lot of like privacy concerns around it. So basically it's not happening <laughs> where we're like comcast will say like if we have our equipment in there like bam you're you go so what's the whole like like um attitude on the google fiber at the moment like are you my are you attitude it, is or... So, sorry, say again. Are, you, I, uh, are you getting google fiber or no not in the, no there's only like what 50 15 cities i forget how many um cities have fiber now because we, um, we haven't they haven't even started in the uk have they no no i mean I uh, the so. thing is is that is that that's Ameri exciting that's like the future y yeah <laughs> like how many like if you wanted to go get internet right now how many companies do you have to choose from four five <laughs> yeah so About, um yeah. where i am two in what? most cities <laughs> one oh, man. in most cities it is a monopoly on the city because the internet service provider said you know it's going to cost us so much to go in here and install all this all this internet um so sorry like like you're gonna have to sign laws that say we're the only provider if we're if you want internet in in your town this is a long time ago so google fiber is trying to go in and not so basically there's no competition so with that, you get data caps where you can only use so many gigabytes, like in, in no, the Atlantic. Oh, I know. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's sorry. Fine. Carry on, Chad. Oh, gotcha. Um, uh, so like in, in um, Atlanta area, I know. Uh, oh, that was that's Philip. Yeah, it wasn't me for once. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, so like there's, it. you know, you can only use 300 gigabytes a month or whatever. Anyway, just like horrible stuff. And like our speeds are super slow, that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know if the, uh, if it's, because I'm, I'm only working off of the Twitch delay. So it's like, I feel like I need to be waiting. I have, I have returned. returned. Yeah. There we go. Um, so anyway, Google Fiber, the, basically Google was like, whenever internet is good, um, we win. Like when people use the internet, we make money because people use Google to search the internet. So the internet winning is Google winning in yeah. our, in the markets that we serve. So they wanted to basically create competition and go into cities that were basically open to, uh, that either didn't have laws or had laws that could change or that they could talk to the city. They did like a big campaign, like the city had to campaign Google to come in and offer this service um and so basically they're just trying to disrupt the entire market with gig service so that 
Comcast and Time Warner and AT&T and Verizon will all get their acts together in, in whatever market that they serve as well is what they're trying to do. And, and like their prices are so insanely competitive. One of their yeah. prices is free. Yeah. You spend $300 to get the fiber run to your door and then you get free service, which is like five down and like 1.5 up, which isn't great, but you don't have to but pay month to month. You just get yeah. free internet. How do you know so? Why do you know so much on this? Yeah, I was uh, for? My, my previous job, I, don't, I haven't done it since October, but I was a technology reporter oh. um, for a company ah. called TWIT, which stands for This Week in Tech. And, and so oh. I, was, I was a producer for, for them, and so I covered this daily. I mean, it was every day I would stay current on the latest tech. I don't anymore. Like, I, I, haven't, I have not been keeping, like, a new phone will come out. I'll be like, oh, whoa, I didn't even know this was coming out. Where before I would have, like, been embarrassed by myself. You're, you're, I, get, you're getting old now. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. The generation I'd, is kind of. Like, now that it's not my job. These like, kids like, with oh, their oh, newfangled yeah. technologies. Me, exactly. Like, no. no. Exactly. Yeah. Skype. No. You mute your mic. How, it was supposed to be heard twice. Your, how is it in your steam room, Phil? It's yeah. uh, perfect. It's it's getting hot in here. Wait, uh, it's, it's I just I really need a better like camera. It's just this one looks like it's filthy, but no, it's just terrible. Phil, you you <laughs> you had something before the stream, um, like you, you it was a little musical instrument. Oh you yeah, were, you were gonna you gonna play. I never said it. I was gonna do it, and I can only play that one part, and you it's were terrible. Play a tune, <laughs> right? Dear God, where did I put it? Come on, Link, play us a tune. I'm actually wondering where it's gone now. Did I put it on the ground? Did I throw it somewhere? No. Oh, it's right beside me. I'm an idiot. It's blue. <laughs> it was put on the stream. Like, people yeah. haven't seen it. <laughs> so, on, so Phil, Phil has a lot of Well, I can't. I'm, it's like, it's awful. It's a, it's a Zelda ocarina, though. It's awesome. Well, no. Link, Link. Not a Zelda ocarina. Yeah. No, ocarinas are an actual instrument. It's yeah. Just, oh, like, it's not. Check out not, STL ocarina on YouTube and you can see like six million videos about them, mate. So yeah, wait, see? it was like before Zelda's time. Yeah, oh, there, yeah. Was, there was a thing called an Aww. ocarina before that. Yeah, they didn't invent the ocarina. Oh, that would have been cool, though. That would have been cool. So are, we, are you not going to play it? No. <laughs> yeah, well, like, screw that. Wait, here we go. That's like all I can play. <laughs> wrong, wrong all show. I can play. Wrong so show, I don't know. I don't, it wasn't exciting. Wrong but that's show. all I can play. Game of Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to play one of the actual Legend of Zelda songs. No, no, God. Yeah, have you, the, they're well, all very because, complicated. Because that would have made sense, right? They're yeah, all like, very complicated. Like, God, no. There's one that's, that's very funny. similar to the one you just played, though. It's like, no, da, 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 no, da, 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 there is, da, da, but no. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 see, yeah, Chad knows it. See, yeah, yeah. no, play that. no, they're all so so ridiculously difficult to play. Like I've tried. That song is also yeah, impossible. Chat room, chat room, give us some suggestions. What should we play? Yeah. But that's all I can do. I'm seeing uh, Beethoven's Fifth. Okay, go yeah. ahead, Phil. <laughs> Well, go on, try, Phil. Just, uh, can you play uh, The Devil Went Down to Georgia on, on Ocarina, please? <laughs> yes. That would be the most godly thing, yes. but I well, can't. Uh, Dragon Force. Uh, to the Fire and Flames by Dragon Force, yeah. please. Yeah, the hardest song on Guitar Hero 2. <laughs> I thought it was 3. <gasps> was it 3? Yeah, I don't know. Well, this... I don't know. Can you play uh, Nyan Cat on Ocarina, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got. Um, you do Darude Sandstorm. Sexually. Oh, you do Darude Sandstorm. Da, 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 uh, <laughs> Do Darude Sandstorm. Do it. I can't. <laughs> have you wait? Have you actually seen that video of the guy who plays it with like a kid's yeah. plastic trumpet thing, yeah. and it's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Zaphon said sexual I, I healing that, by Marvin Gaye. That plastic like resonance is perfect for that uh that It's not plastic, it's porcelain. I'm just terrible no, at no, playing. No, I'm it. talking about the kid, the guy who did the with the kids. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, it is. It's what, really good. Phil, can you not what? even do the beginning of the no. sandstorm? No. No. It's, it's, like, no. One it's like one it's note. Try it. Just, no, just for two reasons. One. For two reasons. One. 
I can't do it. And two, I'm functionally tone deaf. Like, <laughs> here's you what you do. You would Pretend ask me to do it, and I'd come out with a Nokia theme. I'd be like, Pretend <laughs> this is the ocarina, and then don't actually blow into the little thing. Just go, and we wouldn't know. We no, wouldn't know. no, no, <laughs> no. No, I'll just, I'll so just, I'll go to play. It, I'll go to play, it, and then quickly change my, uh, my sounds <laughs> to come out of my my speakers instead of my headphones to just deafen you all by playing it. Thing. Yes. Oh my gosh. So, uh, back to conventions. Yes. <laughs> no, what's a convention? Amazing. Let's go back to that interesting talk about the internet. Oh, Which, speaking oh. of uh, the, the, the convention coming up, actually, um, we're, we're working on something for the convention, uh, and Phil's going to be helping out with it. Um, Chad, you, you probably haven't heard of it, Super Steve Runner? Probably won't have heard Super of it. Super Steve Runner, why does that sound so familiar? We released an alpha of it yonks ago, um, and basically you say yonks been... ago? Literally yonks. Yeah, <laughs> a, a long time. That's ago. racist. An arbitrary... <laughs> yonks and yonks. <laughs> yeah, so ages ago, I, I released an alpha. It was like February 2014 or something. Oh uh, wow! And yeah, that that is we... a yonk. Yeah, and <laughs> plug. It's been kind of, plug. It's been, <laughs> it's been kind of in the background for a little while now, uh, and recently it's been like. Let's try and get it done. Let's try and get it working. And so we've been in the process of getting it working at the moment. And Phil's actually going to be doing the voicing for it. Uh, so, so anyone who's excited to hear Phil more, you're going to be able to hear him in a game talking at you. Oh, um, yeah. So Every time you die, cool. I'll be there to belittle and patronize. <laughs> hey, Phil's going to do some voice acting. Yeah. Voice yeah, <laughs> Phil, Finally. As in, <laughs> yeah. So are you going to do an <laughs> Irish... Voice Phil, what do you reckon? Are you gonna mix it up? Oh, you mean do Bobby again? Yeah. Do Bobby again? Yeah, uh, Phil, can you do an Irish accent? Yes, here you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Wait, Phil, can you do any other accent than Irish? Because uh, you're really good at the Irish one. None and, you know, that are. You uh, overdo it a little bit. So yeah, I, like I overdo it. I'm sorry. It seems like you're going more Irish. None that are uh, like <laughs> trying to be more Irish. That's how Irish people are. No, ta 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 uh, oh, three. three! No, I, I said three. 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 Sorry, I'm say pool. I want and say pool. Pool. Oh come on! No, yeah. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, no, I'm not pool. 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 That's Scottish. 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 Oh, I, Scottish. I okay, hope no. my wire team are ready. <laughs> It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. American. Scottish, Irish, it's the same thing. Don't worry, Jack. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Someone said we have to stop him, otherwise he'll turn into Jack Septic. It's, it's, like, <laughs> it's like American. Tough in the morning to you, laddies. <laughs> it's like American and Canadian. It's the same thing. I like yeah. how the sun, I feel like the sun is setting on you, uh, Nagsai. <laughs> it's like... It has, it, it really has. <laughs> I thought that was like how you were about to say he's going to die. Yeah, it is. It is. With time to sing there. I brought the sun oh, into my room. You're yellow now. You're yellow. I'm very That's yellow. Great. It was all yellow. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, um, so that's something so that's interesting. Because you're eight hours behind us. And you obviously record with people who are in the same time zone as us. So do you yeah. ever have it where the sun is rising on their end but setting on your end yeah 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 because if we hit i think it, i think that well not rising and setting because i think because it might the sun rises at like 6 a.m here so that that would be um like 6 p.m wait no what would that be y'all's time that's 12 hours yeah exactly. i mean i guess in the winter it might be a bit like that yeah, because we, because we had um, not too long ago. I was staying up quite late with Americans. And Americans are like, "Oh, the sun's just going down now." And I look out the window and I'm like, "Wait, the sun's going up here." Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's a pretty crazy thought that we, we're yeah. like instantaneously doing this, but there's a sun that's like coming up and down in different places. 
We uh, well, the Americans the same are very selfish because we won't wake up that early. Like we won't yeah. be awake at six a.m. to. It's, this is it's you always... speaking for all Americans. <laughs> no, basically, like in our entire group, our entire group, it's always like, oh, the, a recording schedule. It's like ugh, we have to wake up at like eleven a.m. <laughs> to record, and like the UK people are like, that's like that's like like it's 9 p.m our time like it's getting really close to like the end of the day you know and, <laughs> and uh or like 4 a.m or something yeah i guess it yeah. gets late time zones yeah we get we get pretty pretty late over here when yeah. we're doing stuff with americans yeah <laughs> yeah because like we could stay up until easily like 9 p.m which is like 2 a.m um UK time. Mm. Crazy. Um, I just know that at 7 p.m. is when a lot of my friends go to bed in the UK, which I think is like 2 a.m. Wait, yeah. I think I just said oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No, yeah. Sounds about that's, right. That's about right. Yeah. It's like you're, you're six hours. It's about five to six hours difference. Right. Right. But, well, up to eight. That's just difficult like enough for me who never eight. learned base 12 to not be able to figure out. Uh, you know what? You know what time zone I still haven't figured out. Like to to connect with uh, is the Australian one. Oh gosh, I still, yeah. I still don't Mental. understand when are they online and when are they not. They're a day. They're it's like, like, like half a day ahead of us. That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If I was to fly to Australia, I would lose a day. Like a day would just not happen. Like if I was to fly yeah. right now, the twenty fourth for me just wouldn't exist. What a what a what? scary lifestyle. Yeah, because uh, it was crazy. We just losing I, days. Yeah, I went to New Zealand a long time ago, and we flew via LA, and then moved on to New Zealand. And on the way back, we flew back the other way through Hong Kong. So on on the way there, we had like a day disappear. And on the Ooh. way back, we had a whole day that lasted like forty eight hours. It was crazy. Yeah, you're like nice. not living in the moment. You're kind of. I'm slightly in out the of past time, a little timeline bit. to you. Yeah, <laughs> no, your time's your, your timeline is slipping. That's so just, weird. If you look at Greg closely enough, every couple of seconds he just vibrates intensely, and it makes no sense. <laughs> it's him trying to. The timeline is correcting itself. Dear God. <laughs> yeah. He starts to fade out, like yeah. in uh, Back to the Future. Goes to pick up cups and stuff, and his <laughs> yeah. hand just appears underneath the table. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, so the reason you were talking about Super Steve Runner, right, was because we're going to Insomnia, right? Insomnia. In Which is next weekend. Who's going to Insomnia? I want to hear. In in chat. Who's going to Insomnia? In chat. Insomnia Sorry Gaming Festival. Everybody spam gonna... cap in the chat. Back to in Insomnia, I think one of the reasons that it uh, is good, like, it does it three times and everyone, like, goes three times a year is because it's much more like a, just a party. Like, people yeah. drink like it's yeah, much it more is. like about hanging um, out with your friends th well the difference between insomnia and, and pax prime is that insomnia is a bring your own computer event right so it's it's a lamp right you're yeah. gonna say and something else and i was like no have... sh you'll get us in trouble yeah no they have <laughs> because all the, stuff. all the hookers and uh... yeah <laughs> yeah well it's it, the reason why it does so well is because other conventions you go to the convention then everything else you got to kind of organize yourself Right. Whereas Insomnia, you have from the start of the, the convention starting in the morning all the way through to like two in the morning, it, there's in-house events going on. And even if you don't want to do any of them, there is literally a LAN hall that is open 24 hours. Uh, and Chad, you just disappeared. I, I just dropped. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm back. Okay. You'll be back. <laughs> uh, that I'm was the worst. Just you might... I did. Ha -ha! Yeah, awesome. I've, I've done this so many times. <laughs> You've mastered it now. <laughs> yes. But there's just like a convention like that. It can only work if there is stuff going on the whole time. Because right. I, I know at things like Minecon, once the convention was over, we were all kind of like wandering around, like, so what's 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 happening now then? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. It reminds like we... me a lot of uh, I worked at. Um, do you know Universal Studios? It's a theme park. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, in Florida, I worked in in that. Universal Studios and I also and and because I work I worked there for like uh, three months and so I also got a pass to go to Disney and Disney 
is like all family friendly, like nice, fun, but at like nine, it shuts down. Everything's gone. Universal, it's like sort of, it's still family friendly, but there is beer and booze on every corner. And like at nighttime, the whole place becomes a party. Like lights come out of nowhere, fog machines. It's a whole party. Like just like, have fun adults. Like that's how I feel like Minecon is like Disney and and insomnia is like universal in that it's like your adults have fun. Mm -hmm. That's all marketing. Yeah. They're like if we get everyone drunk enough, there'll be two of every roller coaster. Exactly. <laughs> It'll be Hold perfect. On. You work at a theme park. Mm -hmm. so, what as? Uh, so I was a stage manager. I've had literally the weirdest jobs. Like I, I never went from a job that made sense to a job that like, oh, that's a normal career path. You know, like that's never ever happened to me. Um, I worked as a stage manager for a traveling magician. Uh, his name was Brian Brushwood. He actually has a show on YouTube. Oh, dude, school. he's awesome! Scam yeah. school, scam oh, school. Yeah. Scam yeah. School. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. He follows yeah. me on Twitter. Yeah, what? I worked. Yeah, I worked for, he follows a lot of people on Twitter. Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> but it just happened one day, and I was like, "Oh my god, Brian Brushwood, cool." Yeah, yeah. He's got so strange I for hair him for a year and a half, and he did uh, four months at Universal. And so I, because of that, they had their their the way they work. Whenever you do a stage show, there is basically you become like a part time employee, even though they don't pay you, but you have all the credentials. You're in their system. And um, I had basically like all the perks of working at the theme park, uh, but as a contractor, not as uh, I don't know, as, as like an actual um, like employee. So we got like most of the benefits of you could go in and skip lines and most of the employees would see your employee badge. And so you'd get into stuff for free and you'd be able to go to the back lot and eat at the uh, the back lot cafe thing and um anyway so we did uh we did a show for their halloween horror nights um in uh october and they start that in september um and then we did like rehearsals a few weeks before that and then we had to tear down after that so it ended up that i was there for a while um living in orlando florida oh, so, yeah so, yeah i'm guessing you had to commute a lot we ended manager. up getting a rental house for the, that time fairly close. It wasn't that bad. It was like a 20 minute drive. Um, it, it wasn't bad because like I, we were living in Texas at the time, which is a day drive. So there's no way we're going to do that. Um, or like a day and a half drive depends on how, how hard you, uh, you, you drive. So, um, but that was a ton of fun because you know, I got to get to know Universal employees. We got to like sneak into the Harry Potter ride anytime you wanted to. You could go to the Hogwarts and stuff. And um, you'd also like I we got you know parking. Like we got really cool parking. Um, and then also we were there in Florida for you know however long, and we got uh, you know our we got tickets to Disneyland. And we learned like all these secrets, like you could go like park at the, uh, you, if you, if you didn't have a, if you have a annual pass, you get free parking. But if you didn't, you could go to the ESPN bar and park there and then walk over and get free parking. And like all the locals had like all these like ways to get around stuff. It was, it was a lot so of wait, fun. So you managed to get into, um, Disneyland's back? <laughs> yeah. But that just as a so guest. On. Yeah. Oh, okay. As a guest. All right. Yeah, because I heard that Disneyland has this complete underground system. Oh, it does. Like, oh, totally. Of, of, it's hidden doorways and hidden totally. tunnels and stuff. Yeah, and they they literally have like guards that will, uh, if someone's causing Mike trouble, is freaking they'll, out. <laughs> they'll just pop out of a secret door, grab them, and pull them into the tunnels. Kind yeah. Of thing, you know. And, yeah. Oh, I yeah, doubt it's done in that oh, way. Dude, <laughs> we have him. It's in a film. What's it it's called? It's in. Uh, it's in. Do you, do you know no, 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 no. The Shh. one with the cars Shh. and the. the... Shut. You're wrong. Just stop. Stop. It's in. Um, it's <laughs> in, it the it's in Beverly Hills Cop. It's yeah, in Beverly yeah. Hills Cop. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> and they jump out, drag him into the tunnels, and then he's like, hey, yeah. Mr. Okie, do the Okie Pokey shuffle. And he's like, Okie Pokey Okie. And he's like, no, you did it wrong. And then they kick him. And it's good. Yeah. That's real. It's real. Yep. Jeez. Real, except Basically, they're not in, they're in one, like Wonder World. They're not in Because Disney, like, right? I, I also, like a lot of the Universal employees have worked at uh, Disney. And so they would talk about like a lot of the, like if you were, if you were a character, you would only be out and about for like 20 minutes before they pulled you back. And, cool. um, and you had to make sure that you weren't like a duplicate of another, yeah. like if there were two yeah. characters playing they on the same schedule day, it, like, if yeah. you, if you were accidentally outside for too long and a duplicate came out, you'd yeah. get fired. Oh, there's really? tons of rules. Because well, they, it, they had, they had the handlers. The because if yeah. a kid sees two of the same yeah. character, you've broken their like dream. One of the yeah. craziest things was we were walking, watching the parade and we just happened upon it. So we were kind of in a weird spot. And we were right at the doors where they go to the back, like like no no people back here. So we watched the parade, like turn this corner and then go into the back lot. And the entire time those doors were open, every single float, all the characters still acted as if there was a huge crowd. All of them were like, to no one, like no one was there. And they were just like, hey, oh, having a party and it's like <laughs> it, all it is is like not to break the illusion that they go behind the door and then they're like oh this is over now like uh, we can just sit here yeah you're also have not an employee you... you're a member of cast is apparently yeah. how disney yeah. works yeah and have then... any of you actually worn a costume like that no like a, mm. a like a mascot, not like that sort of. yeah, we yeah, had like a, a bit uh, at twit called max trollbot which was a robot that we made but it wasn't like an actual disney you know put together one because i was uh at a charity event um and it's the the charity is called teddy bear hospital and basically we we have to uh pretend to be like doctors at the event um because we're all medical students so it's all like hey come on we'll show your teddy how to be healthy and then they go through all these stations but there's one teddy bear mascot who's there and uh, they have to stand at the door and not shake bucket you're not allowed to shake the bucket it's illegal in in the uk i don't know if it is in america or <laughs> shake the you're bucket oh shake, yeah 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 you're not allowed, you're for not donations. allowed to shake it yeah you're not allowed to shake it it's illegal to shake a, a charity bucket wow it's too, is it too beggy too, yeah it's yes. too like hey give us money God, so, that I regulation dope i had to stand there in this huge teddy bear costume it's fluffy and it's yeah. really thick and I'm, i've started sweating like within five minutes immediately but I, yeah but, but i can see out the mouth Problem is, if I look out the mouth at kids, they can see me really easily. Cause it's a really crappy costume, so I have to kind of look down at their feet. <laughs> and so what the kids do? So what the kids do is they'll run up to the teddy bear and be like, like yeah. this, and I have to go like, you can't see <laughs> nothing, me. And, no, nothing to see here. <laughs> but then the other thing is, I have to wave at them, but I can't see where they are. Like I, I, I him I just slapping know. kids. <laughs> so like, hey, Chad, that hey. explains everything. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't see so, the crowd. <laughs> If there even crazy, if there is yeah, one. they don't even know there isn't a crowd just, there. They're just still waving. Just smile and wave. They're, they're actually exactly all animatronic. Yeah. They're all robots. Just yeah. But yeah, the no. Crazy seriously, thing is, I had every kid reaction that you'd expect from one of those mascots, especially seeing as I wasn't like a, a famous thing. I was just a teddy bear. Right. Um, and you get the kids who are terrified. And they're right. like, oh my god, there's a giant teddy bear. They're normally cuddle size. And then you get the kids who are like, oh my god, it's a giant teddy bear. I want to go hug it. And then you get the kids who are like a little bit Tackle, cautious. Yeah, yeah they're they the kids up. that are like, it's time to punch the clown. But yeah. And, and then they just put the money in and then they run away. And they're like, yeah, it's a giant teddy bear. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then you obviously get the ones who are like, there's someone in that. I know there's someone in that. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy because like, you don't expect it to be like that. But every kid has their own little reaction that's weird. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. But it's hot and sweaty in them. I, I feel for anyone who does that as their job. No. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's bad. Um, yeah, one of the other things is there's a, that you have to check in, uh, you, you time clock in twice if you're one of those characters. So you clock in for Disney's purposes or whatever. And then there's this big cartoon time clock thing that you go and you pull this like gigantic, stupid like time card, you slide it in and you pull like this gigantic like lever. And then after that, you're on character. You're on character anywhere, backstage, in front of audience members, or with, uh, with, with everyone, you're in character until you clock out again. Uh, so if, 
any kids like are backstage or any kids see you through like you know stuff you're always on character that's cool yeah yeah that's amazing. Should, we, should we move on we move on to, to questions there's going to be a little bit of delay in questions coming in so i'll just explain what i want that to do uh if you want to ask a question uh specifically chad because chad's not going to be here again for a little while if uh, and Phil permanent probably... guest. No, I'm just permanent guest Chad is not going to be making here the for announcement. A while. <laughs> um, but feel free to ask any of us, uh, Knox Crew in general, Chad, uh, Minecraft in general, anything you want, and just put a Q and then the question, uh, and we'll we'll find some good ones. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, here's one. What? What are my measurements? Uh, for a dress, <laughs> they want to put you in a dress. <laughs> um, Hashtag the dress. <laughs> I think we've bought a dress no twice to Insomnia. Uh, Wait, what? Neither of which has been successful. I've, no one well, ever people took threatened. a dress out. No one ever took a dress out and showed it me. So <laughs> you, you got your pretty princess necklace that time, didn't you? Never, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that was at Minecon, wasn't it? You got your pretty princess necklace. Yeah. Uh, Did we see but, each other at all at Minecon? You saw me and Phil. I saw uh, you and me. Yeah. Yeah. How could you miss me? <laughs> right. Yeah, you wouldn't miss me. I, <laughs> I don't think we did. I'm pretty tall, Chad. Yeah. I just Chad's don't think like eyes. your we booth, the 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 booth was pretty close to our booth. I just never yeah. made it over. Yeah, it was it was it was quite hectic in that area as well, with the yeah. stage just being right by yeah. you as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was crazy. Did you did did, did I tell you that the convention like got legit mad at us? Yeah, because really? you were you had too many people at the booth. Yeah, so we had it. We we wrote it into our contract with the booth that we were allowed to sign at our booth, because it was dated somewhere else that you couldn't sign at the booth. And we we're like, that's that's no go. Like we have to have a place to sign, so we're signing at our booth. So we wrote it in the contract, and after our panel, which had half of the convention show up for. We went to our booth to sign and every like it got like it went above and beyond like Phil I who's like running the convention I like got line. his boss to get mad at us. Like it was bad. It was really bad. I saw we were, that we were line watching and that. I was I was confused yeah. what that line was for because it went somewhere across. Yeah, it this went like out booths. the convention hall, like <laughs> far away. Yeah. Yeah. So here's, it was, here's a question. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite song by Marvin Gaye? Uh, mine's blurred lines. On. Mine's blurred lines. Gotta be. Let's get it on, surely. That, mine's it not, takes two. That's a it joke. takes two. It's I made a joke that maybe two. no one understood. Oh, blurred lines isn't by Mark. Is that <laughs> because yeah, blurred know. lines is by Robin Thicke, who was yeah. sued for copying a track from <laughs> Marvin Gaye. Oh, oh my gosh! See, yeah. that was a deep joke, and you yeah, it was a deep it. joke. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but you, you know, the beginning of let's get it on. The the wow 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 wow. wow. Oh. Yeah. Every time I hear that, I'm just let's like, let's get it on. Let's so get that, it. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's such that's a the good reason song. it's your favorite. Um. The other, the other thing is uh, about that song. The reason why I love it so much is I've seen Pentatonix twice live now, and both times they've d they, they always do that song on stage, and they bring a lady from the audience on stage, uh, and put them on a chair, and they serenade them with that song. And I just associate it with that, like, freaking out girl on stage. And one of the times, yeah. like, a mum, like, just there, like, looking at their daughter, like, look at me on stage with all of the pentatonic. Oh, it's crazy. And do you know what the funny thing about that as well is? Is the fact that pentatonics have two gay guys, um, two guys and a girl. So the fact they get a girl on stage, the uh, the numbers are outweighed that they're more attracted <laughs> to, female, uh, to, to males. On the stage to the females. That's the funny. Um, That's funny. Yeah. Dude, Mine I've has seen, to be I've sexual I've seen Pentatonix healing. live as well. Oh, sexual healing is good. Sexual so, uh, healing. Chad, oh, man, it's, it's obviously, it takes two. Chad, do we see? Thanks you takes for two the make awesome it awesome showcases. Yeah, that's a... Oh, can I explain? Thing. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I'll explain this. He spoke to me a bit about this. So Dwitty, who was one of the contestants, uh, he was the cont uh, in The Ungentleman, who were the winners of the season one and uh this is a bit uh people are going to be going oh why are you talking about twitty so much basically twitty's been helping me out with super steve runner recently and been redstoning it for me 
uh, and helping oh, cool. me out a bit with it. Um, and helping Avon, because Avon's got loads of stuff going on. But um, he made a game called Ocelite, uh, and Ocelite 2, which you've put on OMG Craft. Yeah. And, oh. and he's, been, he's been asking me to thank you ever since we first <laughs> started like, in con- getting Here's contact the proof. with you. <laughs> and uh, he's actually working on Ocelite 3 at the moment, and it's, for what he's told me, it's going to be amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool map concept where you stand you stand on light and it goes up or goes down depending on what color it is. And then he added, you know, light that goes across and no, it can normally it, it goes one way and then that's it. Like there's there's no going back. And so it kind of brings in uh there were it reminds me of those old like DOS games that you would have a puzzle and you'd like you push you know blocks or whatever but once you push it one way like it doesn't move back and so you ha- have to reset if if you get it wrong um mm. so that's cool. uh i like i like it i liked it a lot what, yeah good what, good puzzle game i've got a question for everyone actually what what is everyone's favorite adventure map or just you know map in general puzzle map oh you know any experience diversity too oh i really want to play that because I like the idea of speedrunning it. Because yeah. speedrunning is such a huge thing that is possible with Minecraft games. Um, and that's one of the things with Super Speedrunner. And watching that being speed, sped run. Is that the right way to say it? Sped run? Sped uh, run. Watching people speed run it. Speed run it. Speed run it. At uh, uh, Minecon was really impressive. Like, it just has so many different skills in it that like it pushes people to the limit uh, of their Minecraft. Craftability, that's what I like it. But I I like Joffrey's Chamber. Hey, hey, no, Joffrey's Chamber. You can't pick that. Joffrey. I, I was, it wasn't in the Nox crew when you made Joffrey's Chamber, so I can say that. I, I liked Joffrey's Chamber. One and two. Wow. Yeah, All right. There you go. Phil, what about you, Phil? Um, I actually have not played very many adventure maps at all. I know, yeah. Uh, how <laughs> did you know, mate? I just, I don't know, I took you for that kind No. I remember I played one ages ago, and I can't remember what it's called, but it was just like like a parkour puzzle map, that was it. And then I remember kind of going, all that's in this map is like sand physics, there's nothing else in it, there was nothing else. So I kind of just lost interest pretty quick, but I know there are some like... <laughs> so you just played... <laughs> You just played a some kind of survival sand map, and you thought, oh, no, because it was like if it was all like, adventure maps are like this. No, it yeah, wasn't that. It, it was it was more like a parkour one. But then I was making one. I was making one myself for like ages, and then ended up my computer got wiped. So I was just like, well, screw this. <laughs> I want nothing to do with this at all. I've I've spent about two months of various tuning in and tuning out of doing stuff on this map, and now it's it's gone. You're a disgrace. Mate. Ah, Where's Joffrey's Chamber 2? Where's Joffrey's Chamber 2? Two. Three. Yeah, two, <laughs> three. All of them. Hmm? Two's already See, out. Two's out. Right. It was a joke, guys. <laughs> oh, jokes. <laughs> I, 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 it was a bad <laughs> joke. Your face is a bad <laughs> oh, joke. Your uh, face is a bad joke, Hale Chad. The King said Kingdom of the Sky 2. That's a real classic. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not sure if you guys played Kingdom of the Sky by, um, I th- uh, but, uh, Controller. Blame the controller. Blame the controller. You know, interesting fact for you here. I applied to be in that build team when I was a year before I applied for the Nox crew, and I was mm-hmm. a terrible builder at the time. I was, I wasn't very, like, I was fairly mature for my age, but not mature enough to be in a community like that. And I did this application, and I was terrible. And I looked back on it like a couple of years later, and I was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. And then came to the Nox crew, and it was like my style, but. If I was in that build team, I, it would have been the worst thing they could have possibly had at the time. But um, um, the, Worst life choice. I see that a lot. Like, I'll, I'll get Twitch mod, um, like, applications. And I'm just like, nah, not old enough yet. Like, nope. Yeah. You have a few years. Like, I'm, I, I like your dedication, but... Like, yeah. almost like, stay in the oven. You need to bake a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's when you look back on yourself after like two or three years and you realize what you were like then you're like what was i thinking why, yeah why did i even think to do that yeah why did i yeah. ever dye my hair red yeah exactly <laughs> oh gosh if only i would have realized <sighs> Dave just that, messaged that, me that on... scares me about getting like tattoos or something that i'm gonna feel the same yeah. way like 
I mean, you know, hair's more reversible, but yeah, yeah. But tattoos, yeah. everything's reversible with enough dedication. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zayfin just messaged me on Twitter Pain saying threshold. Marvin Gaye broke his uh broke his laptop because after asking the question, his PC shut down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my Marvin god, Gay. it's funny. No wait, there was another question. Hold on. Yeah. Um. It was a good, was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the net neutrality one, but I was like, yeah, we already talked about that. We already spoke about the internet for an exceedingly long amount of time. Yeah. Uh, Zayfin uh, wants to know if I still love him. Of course I do. Jeez. That was uh, a good question from Jammy. Um, what's Chad's favorite game show game? So I guess you've got a limited viewpoint. It been, you yeah, it would have been the five that we played. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then also, like, uh, back in the day when I watched, I really liked, uh, B- I think it was Bomberman? Bomberman. Bomber uh, Bomber team, there you go. Um, that one was really fun. I like that you know, one a lot. You know, yeah, I actually uh, that that game never like stood out to me until we revamped it a little bit and we just introduced yeah. like tiny, you know, new, new little. Um, we kind of, I, I wouldn't say we, we introduced, we kind of solidified the rules. And yeah, then when yeah. we played it in the new season, it actually, you know, for for a game that it was just kind of like go into the grid, just blow each other up with TNT. Right. It seemed like too simple, but actually because of the um, little supply carts that drop out and, and yeah. give them like arrows and and, um, and cobweb and stuff. That's the version the game, I played. The yeah. game actually becomes a lot more complex and it was actually yeah. like a really, really good and challenging um, game to play because, they, they, you know, it's easy to just kill people, but when you have to actually time it so that, you know, that they, they fall into the trap of a bomb, it yeah. becomes a lot more tactical. And that's yeah. what I really liked about the game. Like the the way that and gentlemen played it was such a fantastic example of how can it, it can be played yeah, very well. They timed it so that the carts dropped out when they took the middle ground as territory, so that they could always get the chest, so they'd get that advantage over the other team. So it was kind of like one of these ones, like push them out to the sides now because the the chests are about to drop. And it was like crazy how how much you could do just from hearing the rules like 30 seconds beforehand yeah. <laughs> and then going into it and forming a tactic like that. I think the best yeah. games are when the, when the skill level um, in, in players can be so, on, you know, so far on the, on the range. Like there's a big yeah. skill, skill range, I guess you call it. Yeah. No, like the, the starters. So, well, know, let's say parkour v parkour. There's only so much yeah. you can do to win a parkour race, but when... Something like that, where extra tactics... A, a new, me- new mechanic introduced, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll I thought, one more question. I was just going to say, I thought one of the better games we played was, what was it? Um, it's a line lock, where you have to go, you have to take room oh, to room to room. Oh, that was yeah. such a good one, and line I really liked so commentating good. over it. Why did you make, say, the one which Nox designed a bit? Oh yeah, like... I designed that! Jeez, did you? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you... It was so now one. is that you designed it or no, you it put was, your name on it? it was there's a difference. You know when we did lockdown in in pilot season, I was like, well, lockdown was a nice idea, but it wasn't like it just didn't work. So how can we make that idea work? And then I kind of said, ah, why don't we do line lock? It'll work like this. It was lucky that it did work because we did a test on that that lasted 45 yeah, yeah. minutes and it like <laughs> never finished. Yeah, uh, and we we're like. If this happens in the actual uh, game show on the YouTube channel, we're going to have to like, edit it up, chop it down. The recording night's going to go, because it means that people are going to be there for like four hours. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> thankfully, it, it, it finished quickly. But did, did you not like Blocksketball, Phil? I did. Of course was... I did. It was great. And oh. then, yeah, but like my favorite part about that is that we got Lobster Ref. Yeah, Lobster Ref. Uh, yeah. It's <laughs> just Lobster Ref, man. <laughs> <laughs> I it think one of the it was great because we had him more all over. One of the better things that we that's been added yeah. with this season is the uh, the chicken decider. You know the chicken bomb. I love the chicken bombs. Oh, yeah, yeah, the chicken bomb is cool. <laughs> chicken bomb so good. Game show. Yeah. Game show. <laughs> gamey, gamey, game show. Yeah, that voice uh, is me, Chad. In case you were wondering. Is it? <laughs> if you ever need new voices, I can oh, do okay. a really crappy Scottish accent. Oh, really crappy. <laughs> I have been looking for one of them. Yeah. What a crappy yeah. Scottish accent. It's the <laughs> worst. It doesn't sound like Scottish at all, but... He's, he's going to start talking now and he's going to sound exactly like Jared Butler and everyone in the no. chat's just going to melt. <laughs> it, it's funny you should see that, because we've got a Scottish in that community. Oh, gosh. Oh, craftsman. <laughs> I, yeah. 
I was kind. I was kind oh of my like god! Of, these are oh all my classics. God. These are all yeah. classics. We we noticed you you said the classics thing, Chad. We we appreciated yeah. that. I don't yeah. even know if you. Meant, I assume you meant to. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Right. So what? One more. One more question, because we don't want to eat into the UHG time too much. Otherwise, burning will hate me. Uh, best horror movie. <laughs> oh gosh. You know what? I, I don't like horror, horror movies. movies. Twilight. No. Uh, Twilight. <laughs> Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> and chess hands. Uh, Ernest no, scared that's, stupid. That's a really hard question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I don't... What Ernest bear stupid? <laughs> As a kid, I hated, hated Ernest scared stu- scared stupid. I thought it was so scary, and I go back and watch it, and I'm just like, I was such a dumb kid. Like, makes no Did sense. You- do you know which movie scared me for the longest time? Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Really? I was, really? Little, I was just a little bit too young when I watched that. Uh, and just like the minecart is... thing over the lava and all that kind of stuff. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I had nightmares about that. Is that the one with the room full of bugs? Yeah, that's in there. God, that's the scariest was one it... of all of them. It's the, I swear one, down that the, was the, the like, scary heart scene. Thing. The one with the... The heart being pulled yeah, out yeah, the chest yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the room because they, to get there they have to go through this hotel room. And yeah, then the it's, hotel it's... room opens this room full of like insects and stuff. Yeah, oh, and like there's so the, like... The, meal, the meal with the monkey brains and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it was just like the whole thing. I was just a little bit too young for the movie at that stage, and uh, <laughs> it it ruined me. Can it be a horror <laughs> show instead of a horror movie? <laughs> But there isn't any limitations uh, like on the questions. Okay, I'm okay. thinking like Rocky Picture Horror Show. Like no, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, no. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Right? Had this episode with a clown in it, and it was like a yellow and blue jester clown who like had like blue foam or something coming out of his mouth, and then he'd like scare people, and then they'd have the foam coming out of their mouth, and it was just like weird as hell. But I remember I saw it. And then I think for like a year after seeing it, I would just randomly have this horrifying nightmare that would just come out of nowhere. And I, I'd wake up screaming in the middle of the night being like, stupid TV show, why did we get Fox Kids? Why yeah. did we get Fox Kids? <laughs> it's so funny as a kid what imparts, like, what you're scared of as a kid. Like, what the thing is that finally was just like, nope, too much, too much. Can't, deal. Dreams. can't, can't cope, can't cope. Yeah. Not like sure. I used to play like Diablo and stuff and all the, the Warcraft yes, games, like Warcraft one through three and stuff when I was younger. And then I just remember for I don't know, like six months or something, I had these weird nightmares about um the end scene of the Diablo game where Tyrael breaks the world stone and then like a really, really bad kind of gif going off in my mind of a uh, an orc worker and then I just wake up screaming for no reason. It was nothing. Like I'd watch it when I was awake and be like, This game is so good. And then I'd go to sleep and I'd be like, well, screwed now. <laughs> well, it's the thing about games is because you play them for such long periods of time when you first get into I assume you do the same as I do. You play yeah. for like eight hours, like a day eight. for the first few days when you're, when you're like in the summer or something. And I remember doing this uh, with Minecraft when I first got it because I got it in the Christmas holidays. And I would imagine myself building as I was falling asleep. Yep. And I'd often wake up and be like, that build was really cool. I should do that now. But yeah. I have spent like 30 minutes like building it block by block in my dream. Not a dream, it's like me <laughs> thinking through it because I've, I've my brain's still ticking as if I'm playing. Uh, like get, it's, getting it's... up and going to school and then suddenly waking up and realizing you're not at school. Oh, I feel the worst dreams ever! <laughs> <laughs> and, and you haven't got your trousers on. Is that, that's the standard, isn't it? Like, oh, yeah. Where are they? <laughs> yeah. I need Someone to hide the... behind a desk. This is a horrible <laughs> object to hide behind. Someone in the uh, someone in the chat said they started ten minutes late and now they're going twenty minutes past. Makes sense. Hello. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, that is a fair point. We should probably uh, wrap it up there. Uh, thank you very much, Chad, for coming on. Uh, where can we find you? Uh, I have two YouTube channels. YouTube.com/omgchad is my personal channel where I do let's plays and vlogs, and YouTube.com/omgcraft is a show all about Minecraft. It's just a show that uploads twice weekly. Uh, I'm on Twitch at twitchtv chad and basically follow everything I do at twitter.com chad Thanks for having me on. It's been fantastic. Thanks, fantastic.
And, yeah, uh, and uh, shout out to Lottie as always. Oh, goodness. Every oh, single dear time. Oh, God. Do... There's other people in our community. You know this. You know this, Knox. There's, you could say there's a lot of them. And with that, I think we're done. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Cheers. Hang up, I will hang up. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Switch hands, aching. Uh, wouldn't it be funny if like Maywolf's gone to the perfect jazz hands? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's gone to the toilet. Oh. <laughs>